Well, here we are today with young Phoebe. Now, Phoebe, where's the bees? <laughs> They're right up there, aren't they? You can see them flying about. Luckily, it's a bit cooler today. But this is what we're going to be doing, Phoebe. We're going to go up there. We're going to take the chimney all apart. And then what we're going to do, you know, they've got the honeycomb. We're going to cut the honeycomb out. And the bits that have all the babies in, the baby eggs, we're going to put them in there. Then we're going to get elastic bands or rubber bands, I never know what to call them. And we put that round there like that. And we put the honeycomb in there. And believe it or not, the bees, really quickly, what they'll do, they'll stick it inside these frames. And we like to keep them in them frames because when it comes to getting the honey out of them, when they're all settled down and they're, they're all happy in their new plate and their new home, which is going to be with this hive, when we want the honey out, we take these out and we cut the front off like that and all the honey runs out and we'll put it in a jar and we'll send it to your mum and dad and you can taste the honey that these bees have produced. It'll be about a year though before we can send it to you. We might give you some honey anyway. It's been kind of sweet anyway, haven't you? <laughs> eh? well, that's what we're going to be doing today. So I know that this colony has been here at least 15 years. It could be a big one. I don't think we're going to get it all finished today, but maybe it'll be a two day. We'll see. It's a big old chimney that is. So wish us luck, Phoebe. Yeah. If you're enjoying our bee videos on this channel, you might want to go and join our sister channel, Hems's Holistic Honey, spelt like this. You might want to go there because we won't be putting any more of our bee work on the Pest Interceptors YouTube channel. For some reason, the algorithm just doesn't pick them up. But we love these videos and we love filming them. So please go and subscribe over on Hems's Holistic Honey. Like I say, it's spelled like this. Go and have a subscribe. As we've just seen, as we was talking to little Phoebe down there, we're up at the top of the chimney now, and this is where the bees are. And as I was saying before, I know the bees have been here for 15 years because I've been called out to them a couple of times. And uh, whoever was living here at the time, they must have decided to have them killed. Not these customers, by the way, these were people in the past. Came out again about 10 years ago. Again, I think they tried to destroy them. And this just shows you, it does not work. You need to have them done properly. You need to have the colony removed like we're going to do now. I think what I'm going to do, Rick, I'm going to give them a bit of smoke and then I'm going to start taking this off. It looks like it's going to come off nice and easy. We'll give them a little bit of smoke just to get them munching down on their honey. Make them a little bit more relaxed and a little bit easier for us to deal with. This looks like it might just... It looks like they needed the roof doing anyway. <laughs> so we need some rubble bags up here. I might be able to get this off without, without even using the drill up. Now, it's power tools time. Let's get the power tools. We'll be right back. OK, Rick, get the big guns on it. Well, this is all going to come off in one big piece, I think, mate. There's the first bit of comb. This will, again, prove why trying to kill them doesn't really do anything. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And killing bees, there's no real legal way to do it now in the UK. So anyone who tells you they can, tell them to ring me and I'll put them right. I think definitely we set, set up a, uh, a sting operation as well in the, in the coming season. <laughs> Maybe next year. So if you're in the West Midlands and you're going around killing bees, mark my words, we'll be watching out for you and we will set you up. Yeah, you was right, Rick. You can see a little bit of old comb in there, look. Unless it's just stretched it's through. Edge. Yeah, it's just stretched through into that one. I, that is a piece of comb down there. Is it? Yeah, if I zoom in. There, look. Oh. Yeah. So that must have been stuck to the top and it's fell off. And maybe it's melted in that really hot weather we had last week. We're nearly ready for the big reveal. Oh, Mark. <laughs> here's Mark, the man who's uh, <laughs> scared of wasps. <laughs> All right, Mark, how are you doing down there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going good. It's going good so far. We've nearly got to them. Yeah, go and kill some wasps. Leave us in peace. <laughs> Look at the pollen on that one. And there's our first sight of the colony. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, it's on camera's working. Yeah, it's actually focusing on the bees for once. We're going from Wollaston. So this is Wollaston here. The gate hangs well put. And that over in the distance, over there somewhere, that's Stourbridge. Yeah, because in reality, as I'm watching this, this bee here, I can literally not see her wings. But underneath on her bum there, there's all little glands, and they use those to send different pheromones out. Oh, no. Ah, you know what's happened there? The bottom layer of the uh, slate has been propolised completely to the... Oh, there's the first attackers. <laughs> the defenders are coming out now. Yeah, you got gloves on and everything. It's quite windy, the smoke blows yeah. away, isn't it? 
But the other thing we need to do is take a brick out further down as well. So I think that's going to be our next job. Well, I'm thinking we take that out first, Rick. The, the, br the brick down below, because we know it's just in this chimney now, 100%. It wouldn't have took much longer though before it was in these other chimneys there. No. <laughs> well, we've seen that quite often where they try to expand in a space and they end up blocking their own entrances. Off yes, they do. We do need to put a brake in further down. So let's go down onto the next level, take a brick out and get the brake stuck in there. The bees were up there, that's the top of the pot where I was just stood, and Ricky was taking out a brick down here. And because we've done a survey, Look at that, perfect, absolutely perfect. But the bees don't seem to be ha too happy about this, but that is literally the bottom of the colony. And I think, like I say, this has been here for about 15 years to my knowledge. So it might have been there even longer. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all this out. It looks like some reason the chimney's been capped from the it inside or... Yeah, somehow. yeah, it, well, it could be, Rick, that um, years ago there might have been um, Jack doors dropping sticks no. down there. That happens quite a lot, doesn't it? But they seem a lot less happy at this end of the colony than they do at the top. Let's start taking this stuff out then. And then if we need, needs be, we can put a board in, can't we? Yeah. I think we've actually worked out exactly what this is down here. I think the colony has been killed off in the past once or twice. And that basically is what's left of millions of dead bees. All the wax that's been destroyed by wax moths. And as you can see, it doesn't work, does it? Killing bees isn't the answer. The answer is to get someone out who knows what they're doing, to take the colony out, to remove the colony properly, to save the bees. You know, it's, it's a no-brainer really, because even it might be cheaper if you can get some scumbag to come out and kill your bees, but in the long term, you're still gonna have to have this done. While this was happening, there was probably all honey leaking down into the house. God knows what this caused, God knows what this caused. And there's also a video, uh, well, if I remember, I'll try and put it at the end of this video. If not, I'll put it here right now if you're watching on mobile or laptop it shows you what happens when we have to do a dead out which is basically when people kill the bees and then beasties come along and eat all the dead bees and the honey and what a mess it becomes it's really awful really awful so have a watch of that and we'll crack on with this what a lovely job Rick. so it's day two we did a bit load of prep work yesterday and we had a really big suspicion that these was going to be super aggressive bees uh, we think they might be honey bound because of the void space that they can use and as you can see we've literally come up here we've only been up here 10 minutes ricky's covered in bees i'm covered in bees and that's that's after we've smoked them that's after we've smoked them so we've smoked them from down below so the smoke has naturally come up the chimney itself they're not happy girls what we're going to do is we're going to take this sheet out first i think rick because yeah. as you know the hardest sheet is the first sheet and they're going to be some big old long pieces i think we've got the propolis on that let's see if we can get this stuff off but as soon as you go anywhere near it they just start attacking your hands don't they in fact viewers have you seen that one it's on our uh, b playlist the Africanized bees, that was a nightmare. We got about in the end, but it had a sad ending to that one. So you'll have to watch that video, but it's a brilliant video. I get stung 15 times in one go at one point. So uh, let's see if we can get all this out first. This is older than God's dog, as they say around here. Maybe that piece, it's like <laughs> chopsticks. Is that you doing hearts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know they're super aggressive when you can't even move them with the smoke in it. Yeah. The smoke they don't care. Thing, I think we might need our bigger suits, mate. Yeah, the smoke's having very little effect on them, really. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. Whoa, the noise, man. I'm actually scared. Yeah. This side sheet is a bit of a pain in the ass because of the amount. I can't see what I'm doing for the amount of bees on it. Just got to stay zen, man. Just got to stay zen. There's Mark going past. I bet he's glad he's not here. Oh, Mark could be in tears by now, I think. <laughs> It feels quite loose. Whoa, look at them coming up out of here now. I need to get this one sheet out. The noise is giving me a headache. <laughs> Here's the first sheet coming up then. What we're gonna have to do is try and smoke the bees off it. There's a lot of bees, man. I can sense a sting coming. Yeah, oh, you've said it now, ain't you? <laughs> I think that's about as many as we can get off here. It's gonna go in the bin. Come on, off you get, off you get. They're trying to get in the bin already. So that's one piece out. 
Oh, it's gone quiet all of a sudden. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That noise dropped then. Now, it looks like there's a ridge inside, so where that is, yeah. that little castellation on the outside, it looks like that's it. But if you look at inside. this part of the chimney here, it goes in and then back out. Yes. Which is kind of so that's good, that's good then. That's better than it going the opposite way. Annoyingly, we're going to have the same problem on that side as well, looking at that part of the chimney. Phew, there's my first sting. Actually got through these gloves, man. Super thick gloves, isn't they, these as well. First finger sting to me then. This is stressful. This one's stressful, man. Okay, I've got some brood, though. It's not enough to save, but let's give this a shake. Another sting. Whew. I got quite a sweat on already. Thank God it's not that super hot weather we had, because we wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, this is certainly one where you don't want to be going, oh, your suit's open. <laughs> First bit of brood. We need to get a full sheet out at some point, don't we? Uh, this right might on. be the one because it's like two linked together. It's yeah. Half, yeah. Let's put that there. Uh, unless somehow that, that, that tool that you poked down there has gone off on the... Um, on an angle. angle. I think it has. Well, I've got two pieces here. Right, we've got loads of That's pollen, a bit of brood. Maybe what's on the other side, just more bit more brood. That's brood down here, look. Yeah, you can tell this has been here for absolutely ages, can't you? Like the way yeah. the, the, the It's been here is. for years. The, this piece of comb here, I'm holding it so hard, and it, ain't, it isn't even deforming. That's probably why they're so angry. I bet the Queen might be struggling to lay in these because as the pro polish builds up over years, she can't get her sexy little Queen ass down there and lay the eggs. So that could be why they're a bit gur as well. Do you know something that's interesting, Rick, about uh, smoking and how stupid it is? And I've been doing it since I was 11 years of age and I'm 50 now. The real stupidity of it. You know you've heard of nicotinoids all over the media and how nicotinoid insecticides are killing the bees off. Well, that's exactly the same as what you're smoking. You're smoking insecticide. I'm using that in my head to try and help me pack in the horrible weed. Wish me luck. Put some comments in the blo down below if you like and uh, give me some encouragement. I would love a cigarette it's right now. Yes, send me some nicotine patches. Well, sometimes once we've got all the honey out, they kind of calm down, don't they? Yeah. But Whoa. What's going on here? I can't, I can't hear for the sound of bees attacking this ear. Oh, look at all the stings. They're really not, they're really aggressive, aren't they? Ricky needs two hands now and I need two hands. We haven't got a spare hand for the camera. But what basically I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand in the bottom of the colony, try and work out which piece of comb that is that's wobbling about that won't come out and try and push it up while Ricky pulls it out. At which point Ricky's going to be thinking, I wish I'd listened to my dad and put them big gloves on. <laughs> look at those. They, every one of them is a sting. <laughs> We've had to make a tactical withdrawal on this one. <laughs> They're stinging us through our gloves. I should have, I should have bought my glove. I've left my glove in the back. You literally, it's just every square centimetre of it's got a sting in it. And even those thick, heavy-duty gloves, some of the stings are getting through now. And then I've got a few stings in my legs on both sides. The honey's getting on it. Everything's getting sticky. So we're going now to go and get our bigger suit of armour. Not over yet, bees. We shall be back. So now we've got our full full suit of what of armour on. Try and get through this one, girls. But this is why. Look. So each one of these dots you can see on here, that is a separate sting. So once they get into attack mode properly, even when you've got all the cover coverings up in the world on, it can still be dangerous, you know what I mean? So we thought it wise to go and uh, get the bigger suits. Uh, I almost feel like going and putting the other suit on top of this suit. Let's get that one piece out because it's been a real pain, hasn't it? It's still that hand, man. That's madness. Madness. Yes! <sighs> Slowly. <laughs> That's... Oh, crap. They've gone absolutely mental. That's a nice piece of blue. Can you hear all this on the back of our heads? 
Oh, look at him going at the mic. I bet people can't even hear what I'm saying. Yeah, for some reason, they've got really obsessed with the microphone over the last few months. These are really, really aggressive. They are, I mean, we're just hoping that they'll become a lot nicer once they've been given what they're lacking, which I think is some new place to lay brood. Maybe cut that a little bit shallower and you could, oh, you can't get two pieces in, but you could cut the end piece off and get to put both in. If I hold that there. Yeah, I think they've got a problem with the queen can't lay properly yes, anymore. Look do. at that, that's unbelievable. Yeah, she's still laying, but she must be struggling because of the amount of throw polish on everything. Oh, uh, yeah. Listen to the sound of that, it's like wood. Just straightened a bit. Thank God for that first piece in. I'm just thinking what's going on behind me. I'm certainly glad that we changed uh, changed suits. This is mental. Whoa. That is some removal we're on at the moment. Little Phoebe made us a little present though. Let's have a look. She gave me one. She's given Ricky one as well. It's beautifully bowed up. What on earth could be inside? <laughs> wow, they're only bee cakes. Now that makes getting stung and getting covered in honey worth every little sting. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> This is the, the other chimney, the chimney next to it. As you can see, right down there, there's a big clump of bees and they found a little hole from one chimney through to the other. Bees, man. So what we've done, we've filled this, the old chimney is all filled with insulation. We've got what we could take out of their colony in here. Now what we need them to do is find that little hole in there. And Ricky's gone downstairs where there should be a hole right down the bottom down there somewhere. And he's going to try and smoke them up. And I'm going to be looking for the queen while that happens. It's been a long old day. Okay, here comes the smoke. Come on, girls, get the message. You don't want to be down there in all that smoke, do you? Go steady for a second, Rick, on the smoke. They've all gone back through to the other chimney, I think. And the clump down there is now not there, but I've got a funny feeling they went through a gap about there. Scrape this clump up as well. Oh, here's a decent clump. Ta-da! Well, this has been a joy, this job. Not. But look at this. What's happening, this was their original entrance, and this you know we're always going on about pro polish. So every time a bee goes across something, it leaves this little substance behind. Well, how many years has this actually been here? Because that has built up. Look at it, see? Look how soft it is inside, look. That's oh, like chewing gum. Look at that. This has been going, been here for decades and decades, I think. And I think that might be an even bigger piece. Look, Rick, how many years has this been here, man? Look at that, I've never seen that before on a job. What's happened is Queenie has found a little gap in the in between here because it's a really, really old chimney and a really old colony. And what we've noticed, look, there's some here fanning backwards and down there. And there's a big clump of bees in this chimney that's next to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get all the bees out of here. We're going to chase them all out of that. Get them to go across here. At least if they're in that chimney, we know where they are. And then we're going to smoke, we're going to make this so that the bees can't go back in here and fill this with insulation. And then we're going to do a similar process over there where we're going to smoke them up from the bottom and hopefully they'll come up straight into here. <laughs> please do that, please do that. Right, let's get some insulation in from the bottom and start pulling it up. Okay. <laughs> Do 
So now we're back in the other chimney, and I, we was right. That's what they've done. They've snuck through a hole in the wall in between the two chimneys. As you can see, there's a big lump of bees right there. Just trying to smoke these up the side of the insulation. And on the seat, my super eyesight can see her. Because we're all getting rather tired now. I don't know about you bees, but I'm getting quite tired. Where are you, little queenie? Oh, they're coming up now. They're coming up now. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling now. They're going through this higher crack that's up here. And we don't end up just chasing them from one side to the other for the rest of the day. But they're literally, I think they're going through to the other side. Look, they're going through that hole. I can see now. Now I took a big ball out. They're going through that hole. Look. Hey, look. She's in there somewhere. Yeah, hold that there. Please don't sting me, please don't sting me. I don't, they don't seem very stingy now, would I can't remember the last time we found the Queen. Yeah. It's been a while, hasn't it? But we did on the Sedgley Bees in the Chimney, and that video is here. If you watch it on mobile, that is. Did you pull that out of my finger? Look, it's trying to get it in quick. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. I can feel it about to go on my finger. Yeah. Yeah. I can just, over here. It's so weird when you feel that. Yeah, I think they're going in now. I can see a line appearing in them all. We have nearly won. Look, look, they're going in at long last. What a long, long day. What we're going to do now is get these last stragglers up out of the chimney. We keep on finding little pockets because the chimney's in such a bad state of repair, basically. And there's little pockets all over it. So what we're doing is we're chasing the bees out of the pockets pushing them up the chimney, then filling it up with insulation, then finding the next pocket and doing the same over and over again. This one has been a total nightmare, <laughs> but you get to expect that when you're dealing with bees because they don't always play by the rule book. Not that there is a rule book for bees, but these girls certainly haven't. If you've enjoyed this, you'll definitely enjoy this video right here right now why not watch this playlist all about us taking bees out of strange places like chimneys and roofs and walls have a little subscribe we would love that it really makes our life worth living when we see those little subscriptions come through thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and you definitely